In Creole Parametric, you can create sprues in your mold design. But if you take a look on the mold design ribbon, there's no actual command anywhere, even in the production features group, for a sprue. A sprue is just going to be an assembly level feature, most likely a revolve. So to create one, you can go to the model tab. And from the model tab, you'll notice that you have the ability to create datum features, sketches, and your sprue is most likely going to be a revolve. Let's create a revolve feature. I'm going to start off by turning on my plane display. Let's create a sketch. I'm going to sketch on the plane called Mold Right. And it suggests that the main parting plane faces the top of the screen. That's good because I want to use that as a sketch reference. Let's hit the sketch button. Let me go to a non-shaded mode. Let's go with hidden line mode and then change to our sketch orientation. I do not need to see my datum planes anymore. Let's turn off their display. And I'm going to add in an additional sketch reference. I can get to the references dialog box from my right mouse button. And I will select this surface here. Now let's click the solve button, which you don't have to do. When you hit the close button, it'll automatically solve for you. For my revolve feature, I'm going to start off by creating the little bin at the bottom. Let's create a center and ends arc. I will start with the center, start about over here, go to over there. And right now it's suggesting a radius for me. Let's use a radius of five. You could change that to a diameter if you want. Let's see, I will need a line, a few lines in here. Let's create a line from the bottom to here and then over there and then close off the loop. Let's throw in a center line for our axis of revolution. And also it's recommended that your sprues have, I believe it's one and a half degrees of draft, maybe three degrees of draft. Depends on your different materials and your different standards. Let's throw in a center line so that we can dimension our draft. If I want to get the dimension to the inside, I need to put my middle mouse button in between the lines to begin with. Let's use three. It'll be bigger enough for you to see the value. And then I can just grab the dimension and move it to the outside. And that is everything that I need in my sketch. Let me just make sure that the first center line is designated as the axis of revolution. And it warns me here, I really should use a geometry center line. I'll click the OK button and it converts it automatically. Let's hit the check mark. And then I will change back to sort of a rotated view. Now I can use the revolve button. It's automatically going to revolve through 360 degrees. It is creating this as a solid feature. Since this is an assembly level feature, it is automatically removing material. I do not have the ability to add material at the assembly level with a feature. Let's go to the intersection tab. It's automatically going to cut out of the cavity volume and the core volume parts. That is what I want. Let's hit the check mark to complete this. And now I have my sprue feature started out and I can use that for creating my runners later on. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.